What a fun day, July 4th, a day to celebrate our freedom, to be with family, to be with friends, and to just have a lot of fun. Hey, I want to talk about freedom today in your morning cup of inspiration. You know, there's people going around our country right now that do not feel free. They do not feel that we are living in a free country. Well, I'm sure most of you agree with me that that 250 years ago, 1776, when we received our freedom from bondage from another country, that we truly were free. The founding fathers set guidelines in place that would allow us above everything else to keep our freedom. So don't lose sight of that today as you're having fun and maybe having a cookout or watching the fireworks. Remember that we are a free country. We are an incredible country. You might be also feeling in bondage spiritually today. Maybe you don't sense freedom in your own life. Maybe you're oppressed with things. Maybe you don't feel that you can even breathe right now. Sometimes it's important to remember the freedom that God gives us in him. The freedom that we can have of that oppression, of the depression, of the feelings that don't allow us to walk lighthearted and to enjoy life every day and to interact with our friends and family and the people that we want to. The Bible talks so much about this freedom. Let me mention a few verses. Hopefully it'll pick up your spirit. In John 8, 36, it says, if the sun sets you free, you'll be free indeed. That's foundational. Jesus Christ, the son of God, can set you free if you'll just accept him as your Lord and Savior. Acknowledge that he's forgiven you of your sins. Confess him to him and then live for him. 2 Corinthians 3.17, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. When you accept Christ, you have the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit in your life. And you can continue to have more and more of it as you ask. Psalms 119.45, it says, I'll walk about in freedom, for I have sought out your precepts. Read God's Word. God's Word continues to emphasize that freedom we can have in his. And finally, if you look at Ephesians 3.12, here's the results of that. It says, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. We can have confidence and freedom to approach God with any need we have. He wants to be there to lighten the burden, to remove that oppression, to remove that prison, and give you the freedom that you need today. Hey, God bless. Thanks for joining me for this morning cup of inspiration. I pray you have a great July 4th and a fun time. God bless.